In Windchill, you can organize your data by creating folders and moving objects. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am looking at one of the folders in one of my products, and I realize it's getting a bit cluttered and to help find stuff, hey, let's create a new folder and move stuff into it. So to create a new folder, you can use this icon and be aware, not everyone is going to have permissions to create folders. So if you don't see that, you don't have the adequate permissions. And here I get a dialog box. Let me make it a little bit bigger. And so for the name of this, I'm going to call it for my Apache helicopter. And you can click the next button, but this is to set access control for different participants. Most of the time you can skip that step. Just hit the finish button. And here we get the little toaster pop up that the folder was created. Now to move objects into it, I can select the various objects. I'm going to scroll down in here and I'm going to use the shift key to grab everything within that list and then select a few other additional objects that I want to move. To move them, you can go to the actions drop down list and here is the move command and we get another dialog box. Once again, let me make this a little bit bigger. You can see all the different objects that I had selected in here. There is a dependence drop down list where you could grab all the other different required components or objects if you want to. You also have additional icons for collecting related objects. And just to be safe, I'm going to select everything. I want to make sure that I'm grabbing all the related enterprise parts or WT parts as well in case any ended up in other different folders. And so I'm happy with everything that I have in this list. Let's also scroll down in this dialog box. You have the choice by default of moving all versions of the displayed objects, but you could also choose only move versions of the displayed view, only move displayed versions, and here's a checkbox for ignoring objects in other contexts. But we have not specified yet which folder we want to move them to, so I will use this button with everything selected to define the move folder, and I'm going to double click. Let me make this a little bit bigger. I got the wrong folder. Let's move up one level, and I will double click on the engineering folder. Here is the folder that I just created. I will click the OK button. And if I scroll down in this list and then scroll over to the right, we can see that now all those different objects have been moved to or will be moved to the selected folder. Uh, that I picked. If you wanted to move an object to a different folder, you could use the icon next to the object so that you are selecting the folder for that particular object. But in this case, I want to move everything to the same folder, so this is good. Let's click the OK button. And now it's done. Let me click on the folder. And that way, now I have all the different objects related to the helicopter in this particular folder. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.